Hello and welcome to our virtual public art studio. My name is Deborah Barrera and I'm the education coordinator with public art at University of Houston System. Art is of course all around us and with this virtual craft session I want to encourage artistic connectedness to you and your family at home. After all, art is a way to decompress, to communicate, and to come together. The inspiration for today's craft is the incredible temporary artwork Mobius Houston by internationally famous artist Martha Chilendron. Mobius Houston reminds me of the magic of a kaleidoscope because the immersive experience changes your perspective of color, form, and light. In this session, we will be making kaleidoscope binoculars, which are open-ended kaleidoscopes that allow you to see the world in a whole new way. Kaleidoscope binoculars are also a great way to repurpose these toilet paper tubes that may be accumulating in your house right now. What I love about this craft is it encourages you to see things in a new way, with a new perspective, which I think is an attitude we can all take solace in right now. So let's get started. You will need the following. Two toilet paper roll sized cardboard tubes, one flexible mirror sheet, one foam ball, scissors and glue dots, a hard edged ruler, decorating materials, like washi tape, markers, crayons, or craft paint. All right, now that you have all your materials, first you're gonna to want to draw on your flexible mirror sheet the six pieces that you will need to place inside of your tubes. The mirror sheets should have a mirror film on it, and you probably wanna draw on this sheet with a Sharpie or maybe a mechanical pencil for it to show up best. Here's an example of a smaller piece of mirror that I already have pre-drawn on that should fit the width and length of my tube. For you doing it at home, it'd probably be best to go ahead and of course measure with your ruler the inside diameter and length so that way it fits best. Or on the side of the pieces being a little bigger or wider, not necessarily longer, but wider, um, that will make sure that they will stick inside better. So once you've cut your pieces, of course, you can cut them with scissors, X-Acto knife, whatever you have on hand. They're gonna look like this. Don't take the mirror film off yet. What you're gonna want to do is go ahead and fit them inside of your tube. And the best way to do this is make sure your tube is upright on a flat surface. Put in two pieces first and keep them in kind of a triangle shape. Hold them in place and then put your last piece in. It should be pretty, you know, stuck and tight. If you get them right, you will see that they won't come out of the tube and they'll stick in there perfectly. Uh, don't be worried if they're a little too big at first, just kind of trim one of the pieces and then go from there. Um, and then do the same thing with your second tube. Make sure they both fit and they don't come out. After that, you're going to want to take out your pieces and make sure you take the mirror film off. And here's an example of what the mirror film looks like. Um, well, the mirrors look like once the film is taken off. And then go ahead and put these back inside of your tubes. Once you're done with that, say these are both completed with your mirrors and the tubes, you want to make them a binocular. You need your foam pieces in order to do that. Uh, you have a tiny baby one that you can get, or there's kind of a medium size. You could also make just like this with a lot of tape or cardboard or something you have around the house, like a washer. Uh, either way, you can um, figure out the size you need by putting the tubes up to your face and kind of figuring out what the distance is that you're gonna need. You might need someone to help you, but you can also kind of figure it out with your hands, your finger, um, and then you might wanna cut your foam piece, especially if you have the kind of bigger one, down to size. I like cutting them on each side of flatter edge. And the way that you are gonna secure them is with your Zots, or of course with glue, hot glue. I like these because they're not messy. You can just take them off, peel them, put them onto uh, your foam piece. And once you have it on there, you kind of can just stick it and it works really well. So the end result, once you've, you've done that, you can start to decorate the finished result. And they're really fun. You did it. Go check out the world with your new eyes. What do you see? 
If you're indoors, look at wallpaper, colorful toys, or maybe a favorite garment with a cool pattern on it. If you can go outside, look at trees, clouds, and definitely beautiful flowers. I hope that this craft has inspired you to see the world in a new and encouraging way. What I really love about it is that it transforms what's already there and gives potential to something that we may not have really recognized or seen before. Thank you for crafting with me at Public Art Studio.